Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show an example on how to use Felt in the classroom for digital storytelling. You can use Felt for free in the class. You just need to go through a very clear application process. You can find the information through the Felt website. Here it's explained how to set up Felt for your classroom. All the steps are clearly explained. Most important is to fill out the form to verify your educational license. And here it says that the verification process takes uh, less than two weeks, but often is faster. In my case, it went quite fast, so I could go through the other steps to really be prepared for uh, the class. Mm, I invited uh, the students and I organized the class into projects. So for each group, I created a project. So that's a folder kind of structure under the workspace. And besides uh, that they created their own data using QGIS, they also uh, had access to the library of data. Um, so Felt provides already uh, data layers, but you can add extra data for your class. And uh, I did that. I provided data from the Climate Effect Atlas. And uh, we'll have a look at it. So here's Felt. And uh, you see here group A, B, C, D under the workspace, urban planning for climate adaptation which is the name of the class, and uh, students can create here a, a new map. Um, it works exactly as uh, you would normally use uh, Felt. But here in the library, you see that for my class, I have specific layers that they can use related to urban planning for climate adaptation. But under general, you see all the other layers that are normally available uh, in Felt. So that's really useful. To be prepared, the students had to go through the tutorials so uh, they did the GIS analysis uh, in the first week of the module. And then uh, towards the end of the module, they have to learn the digital storytelling part. And uh, here at GIS Open Courseware, I've provided uh, similar materials. So there are different uh, sections here. Introduction to Felt, using the Felt plugin for QGIS. And uh, other useful links. So they had to go through Introduction to Felt and uh, this guides them through the steps of uh, creating a new account where they had to use their uh, university email address. They used the learn to use Felt uh, example map provided by Felt to uh, get uh, acquainted with uh, the functionality. I did this in class, so I let them go uh, afterwards try it themselves by creating a new workspace. That's their personal workspace. And then uh, create a new project. And then they had to create their new map. And uh, I used here an area that they're familiar with, um, Delft, where they study, and to extract the building of our university, the IHE Delft building, and then uh, also add text and uh, change colors, um, find uh, the building with the dorms, and then put a pin there with uh, an icon of, uh, of a bed, use the routing tool to uh, get the track by foot from uh, the dorm to IHG Delft, make a circle on, around the place where they will graduate, add some text there, and uh, add some other uh, links and information and even uh, videos. So they got quite familiar by going through uh, all these uh, steps here in the tutorial. Here, adding arrows. We also learn how to comment because part of the uh, assignment is a uh, group presentation, but also debating comments from the audience. So the live comments would come in and then uh, they had to respond to that after their presentation and debate with uh, the classroom. You see, they can also learn how to change the backdrop. You also learn how to export the results to QGIS, but also vice versa, using the Felt plugin for QGIS to get their own project into Felt. So here you see the little example project that uh, the students had to do to get familiar with the tools. The walking route from the dorms to the university and then the place where they uh, graduate if they are successful with uh, completing their masters. So each group member was assigned editing rights to uh, their group and uh, the lecturers also had uh, access to those groups and see what's going on. So the students individually go through these tutorials to get familiar with Felt. And then at the day of the presentation, uh, I showed them the rubric on how we uh, mark the presentations of the groups. 
and uh, they had to upload their public links with uh, comment uh, permission. So the others in the classroom could just scan the QR code or click on the link to uh, comment on their maps while they were presenting. And then it was up to the students to present their uh, results as a group and uh, they all chose uh, different ways, uh, creative ways to uh, use felt. Um, they worked out how to uh, got the, get the flow in their story and uh, use show height of layers and uh, also some did it with opacity so you could see it blending through. Because students are very used to PowerPoint, you can give them a hint to uh, present uh, things like flowcharts that are not uh, related to uh, geographical locations uh, in lakes or in the ocean, where there's enough space on the globe to present that stuff. Here you see a nice example uh, where different layers are uh, shown of a residential area. And here an NDVI layer is uh, shown, which shows how green uh, the study area is and then use the opacity slider to show the hotspots from a temperature image and uh, this is a very visual way of showing uh, how this is inversely correlated for this uh, urbanized area. They further illustrated this with adding arrows and polygons and pictures. It was nice to see the creativity of the groups and uh, also how they used uh, links to external applications uh, that could help to explain the story. Some used cesium, in this case uh, a shade app was used and uh, here we see the effect of uh, shade on that study area. So this case study was about the urban heat island effect. of the shade at different times of the day and different dates. You can see a few more examples. One is a water square project where different layers were used uh, to see where roads get flooded and a solution has been uh, proposed to create a water square. Google to uh, with Street View also illustrate the problem. And the other project here is a water retention pond. In the end, this group had to uh, debate with uh, the people in the classroom who were part of other groups, and uh, one by one, the comments were taken and uh, discussed. So I think uh, this was a really nice tool to uh, use for this purpose of presenting climate adaptation in cities uh, using group work and debates with uh, the classroom in uh, real time. I liked uh, the creativity that uh, students used to present this. Uh, it would be nice to have some feature that can control the flow, uh, like uh, map themes or um, spatial bookmarks. Uh, that would make it easier, maybe that partly already exists. Um, but for the rest, I think this was really cool to do, and it was also well appreciated by the students.